Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video, and today guys, we're going back in Expanded today, and we're looking at Sogaleo Bronzong in Expanded. Um, now, before I end this video, I do want to say, I know the views have been a little low on the on my channel recently, but that's not, that's not, you know, whatever, it's fine. I'm going to keep going out videos, and um, also, I wanted to do an Expanded Greninja video. I recorded it, everything was good, but for some reason, every time I uploaded it, just like the... Last Greninja video, it only uploads in 360p, and I've literally rendered it, like, four times, and it still only uploads in 360p. So I have no idea what is going on there. It's so annoying, because I uploaded my Solvali video and my Greninja video at the same time at my college, because it uploads in, like, ten minutes. And the Solvali video was fine after... Like a few minutes after processing, the Greninja video won't even load on my phone, and it's only in 360p. I'm, it makes me want to throw a chair out the window because I don't know what the heck's going on. I, I can't upload Greninja for some reason because every time I do, it only uploads in 360p. So if anyone knows what the heck what's going on there, please let me know. Anyways, let's take a look at Sogaleo Bronzong in Expanded. Now Sogaleo is going to be popping very very soon with Ultra Prism. Sogaleo is going to be very crazy. With all the prism because you got the new Sogaleo, then you got the new other Alter Prism Sogaleo, the Prism Star One, whatever you want to call it. So Sogaleo, it gets just really, really good with this next set, and it is extremely powerful. Um, so Sogaleo, we already know, is a pretty strong card. It's got the ability Ultra Road, which is basically built in Switch for anyone, and then you have Sun Seal Strike. For three energies, you're doing 230 damage. For three energies. That's insane. There are Pokemon that do 200 damage for like 5-4 energy. Sogaleo just does it for 3 metal energies. Or 3 energies. You know, 2 metals of colors. That's insanely good because metal actually has a lot of support. You got Metagross, you got Bronzong. It's crazy. So Sogaleo Bronzong could be a very deadly archetype. Now this deck is a little problematic because we are going to be pairing Metal Link's Bronzong with Sogaleo. So we can use Metal Link's as a way to charge up our Sogaleo every single turn. Um, but there is a problem with this deck. Well, the big one is Expanded is pretty dominated by cards that can do big damage to you and cards like Night March that you don't really want to do 230 damage to a Joltik and knock it out. So ideally, if you play against Night March, the way I see it, you want to take out the, the bench GXs like Lele's, any Shamans, any Marshadows, any Zorks in play. That's how you can beat decks like Night March. But it is kind of awkward to do 230 damage to a Joltik or a Pumpkaboo. It's just a little bit awkward. That's way too over. That's over the top. So that's one of my issues. This deck also kind of struggles against Trevenant because Cosmo M is psychic. Cosmog is psychic, so you fall victim Trevenant pretty easily. And then they lock you from Rare Candy, which can also be pretty problematic. We don't play any uh, Hex Maniac, because this deck is kind of tight on space, because it is using a Stage 2. So, but for the most part, you should be okay to kind of just clean house with Solgaleo, Bronzong. You set up a Solgaleo pretty easily. You can do Soul Burst, um, then you just Metal Links every turn, and you should be okay to charge up a Solgaleo every turn, and it's pretty good to do so. Now we do play one Aegislash, this is just really good. There's a lot of metal Pokemon you can play, like Salastila, you got Salastila, you got, you know, Registeel, Genesect if you want to play that, you got Kartana. I've gone with Aegislash because Mighty Shield will be a little bit more useful sometimes. Aegislash might not be the best answer, like say, say maybe it is better to play Salastila or Genesect, but for me Aegislash is just going to be a decent option. It can buy you some time too. You know, there are going to be moments where it's like, ah, I can't get Sogaleo in play, I missed Rare Candy, I gotta go into Cosmo M. You can kind of use Aegislash as a way to stall. We got our four Bronzors. I am playing one Payback one, just in case we ever use it. And we got, you know, three three Retreat Bronzongs. The problem to play these when you're playing against Trevenant, though, if you can't get a Sogaleo in line, because it's easy for them to trap a Bronzor or a Bronzong in the active, and then just spam sound too. I'm going to be playing a three... Uh, one split of Sogaleo here with the baby Sogaleo. I don't have a four Sunsteel Strike Sogaleo. But actually, no, I do. I do. Wait, do I? Yeah, I do. Okay, so I do have four, but the reason I'm playing this Sogaleo 
is because it's still pretty good. Fangs of Sun can be good to take out Lele's. You have Shining Arrow, which is not a great attack, but it can actually snipe stuff like Joltix, which is still pretty decent. So we are going to be playing one Baby Soak Lele here. We're going to try it out, see if it's any better than the Sunsteel Strike. Because sometimes you can't keep the Sunsteel Strike up forever. Sometimes you need to go Fangs of Sun to kind of clean house. So I am playing the split, but you know, if you do want, you can you can run four of these Solar Soak Leos. We got our two Lele's, of course, for Wonder Tag, and that's it. We don't play any Soda Widows, we don't have any Orcorios, it's just that. So, yeah, but the thing I have with Soda Widows is sometimes, usually your bench would look like two Bronze Longs, a Lele, and two Sogaleos, or whatever your active is, too. So, I mean, you could try and fit Soda Widow in here if you want. Uh, we got one Computer Search for our Ace Spec. Computer Search is the best because you can grab rare candies. I am playing two Field Blowers as opposed to one because I have me running into a lot more Garboder and Expanded. And with Field Blower, it will help us not have to worry about Guard because we can just get rid of those tools. Because this deck is not very good when Garboder hits the field. Two Heavy Balls. Um, heavy Ball is great. You can grab Sokaleo. You can grab Cosmoem. You can grab one of these Bronzors. You can grab your Egg Slash. Or you can grab your Bronzongs. So that's why two Heavy Balls is good. I would play three, but you can't grab your Cosmox with them, which is one of the most important things to have on the bench. One Max Potion. Now, there's one card that I would want to add a few more copies of is Max Potion. Because in Expanded, it's a it's a format that, you know, hits you like a truck, right? It's, it's a lot more faster than Expand and, and than Standard. It's more deadlier. I would like to play multiple copies of Max Potion in here instead of one. Maybe you can just take out a Field Blower and just, you know, go one Field Blower, two Max Potion. So I feel like Max Potion is needed in here because it's just so good with Sogaleo. But, yeah, we only have one. Four rare candies for our Soul Galeo, one stretcher to get our Pokemon back, four Ultra Balls to search for our Pokemon, four VS Seekers for the supporters. Our supporters are one Bridget to be able to turn one Bridget, a few Bronzors, and a Cosmog down. One Colrus, because well, our bench will always be full, and if you know, we're playing in Soul Arc. One Guzma, one Lysander, it's just normal to have. I like having the Guzma here, too. It does help in those Trev matchups sometimes. Um, but the Guzma Lysanders are good because sometimes you need to just bring out the GXs on the bench and knock them out. Like if you're playing a Night March. One Karen. This just makes the Night March match a little easier. Again, Sogaleo easily gets two shotted by Night March. So Karen will help ease that a little bit. Three ends for draw. Four Sickas for draw. The reason I've gone with four Sycamores is because it's nice to dump energies in the discard pile. And I do like playing maximum draw because there are going to be times where you whiff four rare candies. Because usually I wouldn't play that many sycamores or ends in an expanded deck usually i'll go three sycamores two n but i'm maximizing it because there are gonna be times where you desperately need to get a turn two sobaleo online so the maximum draw will just help you because you don't want to have a hand where you don't have anything to do and i've just gone with 10 metal energies you're gonna need energy in the discard and you're gonna need energy in your hand most of the time so 10 i think is a pretty strong amount for this deck so this is my sobaleo bronze on expanded deck let's go try it out expanded and let's see if sobaleo bronze on in the expanded format has some potential, if any at all. Alright guys, let's get some games with our Sogaleo deck, and hopefully we don't play against Night March, because I have to play against one more Night March deck. I think I'm going to quit playing Expanded. Pardon the salt, but, uh, Night March is, like, I don't know, they need a band battle compressor. Anyways, hopefully this video does not go up in only 360p either. So let's just check my phone. Uh, hopefully this video doesn't go up in just 360p, like, um, like the Greninja video I was trying to upload. I'm gonna see if I can fix that because I still want to make that Greninja video go on my channel because it was still a pretty good video. I thought the games were pretty good. We showed off one of its weaker points and expanded and we were able to beat some good matchups. Oh my gosh, what is this? One? Two rare candies, a Sogaleo, a Cosmo, and a Metal. That is pretty pitiful. At least he's mulliganing, so this gives me a better chance of maybe getting like a turn on Bridget. Looks like he's playing a fighting deck. All fighting though, so no Garboders. Lele's are shamans. So see what kind of fighting deck this is. Aegislash could be good because it forced him to not use strong energy, so the damage he does is a little weaker. Oh, he mulligan four times. And we still got nothing good. Are you kidding? <sighs> Please end me. This hand is oh, if we had like a Bridget or something, this hand would be really good, but this is a garbage hand. Alright, what do we draw? Are you what? Bro, no, thank you. <clears throat> this hand is so bad. Oh my gosh. I can't even play it. Like, I, I, I'm i not doing Sycamore. It's not going to happen. 
so stressful. So, so stressful, dude. His hand is pretty bad. I don't think he's enemy either. Aegislash. Oh, he is. Okay. Looks like Aegislash won't even be going down anytime soon. He had to play Fighting Stadium. Oh, no. He can absorb shit. What am I saying? That's a little better, but not, not really helping too much. Okay, so we'll get rid of Karen and Metal Energy. I think we'll just grab Bridget. Add him to four next turn. So grab Cosmog, Cosmog, and maybe even Tapu. I mean, I don't really want to put Lele down on my bench without his ability, but it doesn't look like we're even going to get a Soleo next turn, so I... Well, Thing is, like, we're not gonna knock him out because I don't play any choice bands, so I, I don't mind grabbing Lele here because he's gonna have three at no, but then he knuckle impacts, and then I'm gonna go down even more prizes. Yeah, never mind. I think we're just gonna go two, two Cosmogs and a Bronzor. Yeah, makes more sense. We're gonna get knocked out unless he doesn't have an energy. We'll see what happens. So yeah, I was gonna, you know, grab Lele there, maybe put the energy on it, try and bronze on it, but yeah, the problem is, like, this thing is still gonna knock me out with Knuckle Impact. Maybe, I mean, he actually attached to Lucario, so it looks like he's taking out my Bronzor, which is really weird. I, I don't know why he's doing that. Actually, I think, you know what this deck could use is a teammate's. Yeah, he's taking out my Bronzor. I'm fine with that. I mean, Bronzor, you did good, but the fact that he didn't knock out my active is a little weird because he'd actually have me in a pretty tough spot if he did. Now I don't think Absorption can even knock out Silvaleo in one hit. So we'll Sycamore here. Okay, that's... That's a very shiny hand. I'll give my... That's a very, very shiny hand, but... Um, not a very good hand. Oh, his hand is garbage. Oh, I'm losing so many good cards here. Hmm. At this point, I might just not even use Stretcher. Ah, oh, this hand is so bad. I think I'm still gonna just kind of just chill out where I am. Like I could do, I could go for, I could go for like a soul burst here, but I don't really see the point in that because I'm, I don't think absorption knocks me out because he's already taken, he's taking one prize, so he's doing 120. He's doing quite a bit of damage, and then I just get knocked out by Lucario. So I think for now it's safe to just chill. And then next turn, hope to knock him out. But if we see a Lysander here, this is definitely going to be bad. So he does put the strong energy. I called it. I called it. At least we survive. So field blower, uh, I don't know what the heck, dude. This <laughs> the luck I had this game was so bad. Ah, <sighs> what is the? What are these hands, bro? Okay, do we have two medals in the discard? We don't even. How do we not even attack with it? What, what is this deck doing? It's like trolling me. Okay, this is pretty annoying, I'm not gonna lie. This is slightly triggering, just just, just a bit triggering. Maybe I should have kept that end, actually. Probably should have kept the end. Why didn't I not keep the end? I'm not thinking today, folks. I am playing, like, not very smart. Okay, at least he put the strong energy on, so 
He can't hit my Aegislash. He concedes? What? He actually conceded. I, I thought he had us, like, in a pretty tough spot there because of how unlucky I was getting. I don't know why he conceded, but I'll take it. That was a horrible game, though, but I'm glad you got it. That game sucks. That was a horrible match because we got so unlucky that game with our draws. And we got a pretty big whiff there. We got, like, a bunch of cards we didn't really want to draw, so... Hopefully we can get another game where it's not as not as bad as that game. So I, I want to show off this deck a little better. That game didn't go well. I think this deck could use a teammate, though, to be honest with you. So we are going to win the coin flip, which is good. And I think we're playing against Lycanroc Zork, judging from the types. So we're going to mulligan. Hopefully we can just get like a nice, reasonable opening hand that isn't too overcomplicated with... Multiples of cards that I don't want to play or get rid of. Like, this hand would be pretty bad. Actually, no one. Because I could still do Bridget. But you get my point. Like, hopefully I don't get a hand where I have, like, two rare candies. Or, like, I have to lose both field blowers or, like, max potion. Hopefully that doesn't happen. And, ooh, for once, you know what? The tables may have, you know, turned. This is actually, for once, a pretty good hand. So we don't have a supporter for next turn, but I think I'm still going to do Bridget because I can still get the Soul on play. So what we're going to do, we're going to go Bridget here. I just got to then hope I can draw something. Maybe we can buy some time with Aegislash, I don't know. Probably not. Maybe it is better to do like a Sycamore, but... I mean, we, we have the turn to Sogaleo, which I think is decent. And I can even build up Aegislash if I want. We aren't going to have any room for Lele though, so this could be an issue. It's going to pass. If I attach, we could easily see a Guzma knock out. Actually, I'd prefer that. I don't know. Whatever. We'll see if we can buy some time here or draw something good. I'm in top deck mode, but I'm fine with that. The only issue is Lycanroc. That could be a problem. We'll see what happens this game, though. See, this is the problem with Sokoleo and Expanded. Like, it's still, it's a lot more slower in, than in Standard because in Expanded, the format is so speedy and it is pretty hectic. So, yeah, this is why Sokoleo and Expanded is kind of clunky. Because you can't really reliably use Soul Burst because of how fast the format is. It's so easy for your Sokoleo to get, like, heavily damaged by the time you Soul Burst. In Standard, you have more leeway because it's not as fast as the format is expanded is because there are still decks out there that will rely on a more of a stage two setup kind of thing so they might be a little slower in expanded you can't really rely on soul burst at all unless you're using soul burst as a way to just build up energies like with the dark cry deck you can't reliably use it looks like we're playing against toad though so if we get quaking punched here this is not going to be good because then i would have been then this hand would be for nothing so we're going to see a laser hopefully get tails Nope, actually it didn't really matter, I'm not attacking, but you get a point. Shaman for two, probably going to get him Seismito DC Floatstone, even though it's only two cards. Dude, do not tell me I'm right. Do not tell me I got that right. Okay, I had a heart attack. I was like, are you kidding me? I actually called it? Like, he's only drawing two cards, and I actually almost called it. That would have been so frustrating. Actually, I think it is better to go sober here because he's not really putting that much pressure on me. He can see. I can't even get this deck going. My punch can Ooh, 100 coins. Nice. Oh, imagine. Dude, if I called that, I would have been so mad. I would have been like, you're kidding. That is what? The fourth prediction? So we're going to get 10 turning tickets, which is nice because I do need to grind. Well, I need to at least grind a few turnings and get a couple packs before the new set comes out. So I wasn't able to get that many packs, and I can't actually use... All the money I'm making off YouTube mainly is going towards getting, like, codes and stuff. But, unfortunately, there's a bit of a predicament going on in my life right now where I can't really transfer the money into my bank account. So I have to wait, like, four to six weeks to do that. So I didn't... I wasn't able to order that many codes. So that's kind of going to be my way to get the new card. Oh, Lele start. Okay, that's not too terrible. As long as our Lele isn't prized, should be okay. It's probably better to start with Lele, honestly. It's just something that can take a hit. I don't know. 
Oh, we're playing against Magnezone Zor. I've seen this deck. I've played against it. And I know how it plays. It's kind of an evil deck, but with us one-shotting him, maybe that'll matter. Ooh, he got rid of a computer search, which he probably could have kept. I don't know what he was. Maybe he has Rare Candy Magnezone. I don't know. Seems a little weird that he would dump the comp search, though. So, we're going to see a Bridget. Hopefully, we can get a turn on Bridget, too. Assuming it's not prized. Now, what do we draw? Bronzor. Okay, I don't actually want to fill up my bench too much. Because I am kind of scared of Standin. And... Rip Turn on Bridget. Yeah, dang it. Okay, sucks. I guess I can end him then? I could do Chorus. I think I'm ending him. Even though he has four cards, I think it's better to end him here. Don't mind this, because we end him. You know, the fact that he got rid of that computer search tells me he had something going on in his hand that he didn't want to get rid of. Alright. So we'll get rid of... I think we'll just get rid of Metal Energy and Guzma. And grab another Cosmog. Try and set up our Cosmogs, because one could go down next turn. And I think we pass. We'll see what happens next. Hopefully I didn't give him a good hand. So we're going to see Chorus. For 7, and he's going to get a Zoark. Or that's going to be for the Rare Candy Magazine. Nope, it's for Zoark. Alright, let's just hope we're okay. He does lose a DCE, which is nice to see get discarded. Okay, at least we survived the turn. I can do Chorus for 8, which is kind of nice too. We do draw Field Blower, which I can't play. So, what we will do here is go Metal Links. We'll be a seeker for Chorus. And hopefully we can get a Sogalier. We do. Okay, good. I was actually a little worried there. Cause I am actually going to do Soul Burst here. I mean, we're not going to get knocked out. And hopefully this matters. Because the idea is I want to do Soul Burst and then get another Sogaleo down next turn. And then we'll have two in play. So go two to the active, two to the bench. I could have put an energy on Lele too, in all honesty. Maybe I should have instead. I will see what happens here. We're going to get hit heavy, but only 120, which isn't even a two shot. So via Seeker, I think you already played a Colrus, didn't you? Yeah, rip. That's nine cards. He's definitely going to get him the Magnezone, especially with his trade. So he's getting a ton of cards here. So we're going to see a trade. This is probably going to give him what he needs to get the Rare Candy Magnezone off. His deck is pretty insane, though, because he get the... Oh, no, Skyfield! That's not good. If we lose Sogaleo here, this is not going to be a good position to be in. Okay, just a mind jack. It's a little annoying because it's kind of awkward and we already lost. Oh, no, we didn't. Okay, what I can do, I can actually grab Baby Sogaleo. Hmm, actually, I don't know if that's worth it or not. I don't want to do, this is, I don't want to Sunsteel Strike the active, though. And I need to have, okay, I think, yeah, I think it's fine to do that. I need to have an answer to that Zoar. Because it's going to knock me out. Um... Kinda sucks, his hand's a little awkward. And yeah, hopefully we can get something going on our prizes here next turn. That'd be nice. Let's see. It's not not good, not good, not good. We need to get one of our sycamores or something. So he brings out Magnemite. I really hope we don't get knocked out here. I actually don't know if Zoar can do enough damage, actually. I don't know if he's playing Professor Kikui or not. Ace Trainer? I'm fine with that. I actually do want a new hand here. 
How much can he do at max? He's got 900. He can do 210, so yeah, we're not going to get knocked out. I was thinking for some reason Zora can one-shot me with a full field, but I'm you know, wrong. Oh, and max potion. That is so good. And we can chorus for a pretty big hand because he's probably going to fill this bench here. He hasn't gotten Magnazonian to play yet, which is also nice. Yes, put more Pokemon on your bench. The Soda Wudo is a little annoying because it's kind of hurting our bench because I don't really want Lele on there and everything, but whatever. Hopefully we can find Field Blower 2 off this chorus. Hmm. I am kind of scared of a Guzma though, because if he gets Magnazone, he can play two supporters. And he can do Guzma. Actually, he hasn't played one. But yeah, the idea with this deck is you basically you get Lusamine into play. He's definitely gonna get Magnazone in here, he's got like 11 cards. You basically use Lusamine and then you can just support a loop. It's crazy. Puzzle? It's definitely double puzzle. He's gonna get Magnazone, and I'm hoping we do not see our. I really don't wanna lose a Sogaleo here, that would be really bad. Okay, Skyfield's a good discard. If I can make him only do like enough, yeah, if I can make him two shot me or three shot me, that's fine. So he does get the Magnazone finally. I mean, it took him a while, but now I'm praying we do not get knocked out. If we lose, oh, dude, come on, gets this. Oh, that's even worse. Dang it! I wanted to keep my Max Potion and my Via Seeker. That's so annoying. Right, hopefully we can draw via Seeker or something. I was wrong. Uh, I was hoping for another bronze on there. Alright, we can knock him out. We're gonna get, ugh, we're gonna get knocked out in return. I need to find my max potion though. Hopefully these two prizes are good. That'd be nice. He is low on cards, so maybe that makes a difference. I don't know. Okay, Lele Ultra Ball, not really too good. Uh, maybe we can deck him out. I mean, he does have access to Karen, so I don't know. Plumera. Oh, that's not good. Is he even... I mean, if he doesn't get another Zoark down, this is okay. Alright. No point in ending him. Oh, that is such a good draw. Thank you, game, for actually listening to me. And I think I gotta go for Bronze on here. I was gonna grab a Cosmog. But I have to grab Bronze on. Unfortunately, this annoying sort of widow is kind of blocking me. But I can do Chorus, and he doesn't really have any other threats on the board at the moment. So at Chorus, if we whiff metal, this is gonna be bad, and I might actually whiff it. I actually almost whiffed it. Oh my gosh, could you imagine? Dude, I actually almost had, I had a heart attack there. I actually thought I whiffed the metal energy. I was like, bro, this is not good. We may actually lose, but no. He's got no other threats in play. And this is good. The max potion was game changing too. That basically changes the state of this whole match. And we should be able to get another Sokoleo to play next turn. So we'll knock him out, and I think we can just get baby Sokoleo to play and just finish off something. It's probably gonna bring out Magnazone. But at this point, we should be good to win as long as, we're probably gonna get end actually. Yeah, maybe not, he hasn't played, he hasn't been actually played end yet, so I don't know. We're probably gonna get in though. And that is how you do it. That was a pretty intense match. That was a crazy game. I was I was so worried there, I almost thought for sure we were going to lose because we didn't I thought we actually almost whipped that energy. If we did whip that energy, that would have been really, really bad. Um We'll get one last match with our deck here. We showed off the deck pretty nicely there, so we'll get one more game. Another Zoark deck. Everyone's just playing Zoark and Expanded, which is obviously there. 
Uh, there's a lot of funny decks you can play though. There's like Quad Reggie Rock, Dawn Fan. I do want to try out a Dawn Fan deck though, just for fun. And there's obviously like the Zygar decks. You got Buzzwool, Landris, Bats, Garboder, Bats, Landris. I don't even know. There's so many fighting decks. So hopefully Zoark doesn't like completely ruin Expanded and turn it into a monster. But I don't know. We'll see. We're going to lose the coin flip, which is pretty bad. This is not what you want to see. We're going to mulligan revealing what we are playing. I'm kind of worried for Siddle Widow too. Siddle Widow's a little bit of an annoying card that's definitely going to hit the field here and hurt my bench space. So we are going to open up the Cosmog. We do have a computer search, which is nice. So we do have access to Bridget. I don't know how many times I mulligan there. Okay, just once. Yeah. Oh, never mind. He's not playing. All right, he is not running. A Zolar deck, I guess. I mean, maybe he is. Maybe I'm wrong. He might be playing Zolar. He's gotta be. He has a dark type in his deck. There's another dark type. Maybe spirit type. I don't know. I don't know, honestly. Huh. Okay. This is interesting. I actually kind of want to see what this guy's playing. Zorua, double ghastly, and a buzzwool. Maybe he's playing Haunter and he uses Zoar to stand in and get out of the confusion and keep you confused. I don't know. He just put a DC on his Ghastly too. Hmm. He's interesting. Let's see what he does. Okay, he passes it. Alright. So we drew via Seeker. I can probably dump these two. Grab Bridget. I think I'm gonna retreat an egg slash. No, I can't, right? I can't. Oh no. Oh, I forgot I oh, dang it, dude. I was thinking I was gonna retreat an egg slash, but I forgot. You can only Bridget for Yeah, that sucks. Alright, well. We'll just do good dust gathering and maybe this will give us a good draw. Okay, let's see if we get knocked out here. We sh probably are going to get knocked out. We'll see. We'll see if, if my boy Cosmo can hold down the fort for a minute. Okay, so I was right about the Haunter thing, but I don't really... Does he play Psychic Energy? I don't know. Okay, so Ultra Ball... Um, this is weird, like, I'm, I'm really confused. Very, very confused right now. He does play Gengar, what? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. What do you get rid of? Okay, so he does have a supporter in his hand, it looks like. Rare Candy Gengar and a Sycamore. Watch. Calling it. Am I right? He's got that Sycamore. I know, I know, I know it's going to be Rare Candy Gengar or Sycamore. Nope. Okay, so he's gonna end me, which I might actually use my No, he's gonna end. That's fine. I actually don't mind losing this hand. I actually wanna keep my max potion around. Okay, so there's Aegislash, so I can try and buy some time. Maybe we can draw Ultra Ball and we might actually be able to attack with Aegislash here. That'd be really nice. This is a weird deck though. Gengar, Puzzle, Zor. What on the what in the world is going on? So get rid of Via Seeker again. That's not bad. I mean, one thing that is nice because of Solio's ability, we don't really have to worry too much about Honor's ability. So I guess that's a nice benefit. I don't know. I didn't. Know. I was hoping you would grab another Pokemon there so I can chorus for a big hand. So, trade. Getting rid of D Valley. It's fine. We'll feel blower this turn, anyways. Alright, so he is filling up his bench. The only problem is we could see a stand in Zoark hit the field. Rescue Stretcher. Thank you. Please fill up your bench so I can draw 10 cards, of course. 
Knowing me though, I'll chorus for 10 and I'll still end up whiffing my poor old rare candy soap layout. I see he buzzles and then creep shows. This is really weird. That is a little annoying though that this creep show is built up. I'm not gonna lie, that kind of complicates things. So we actually did draw what I was looking for. So we can get a bronze on online. And we can play this so we don't have to worry about that. And we can chorus for 10. Only one rare candy, though. That sucks. It might actually be better to knock out the Gengar now, but I don't know. Maybe I just go into Aegislash. We do have a knockout on the active, but... Gengar is going to knock me out. If he didn't have an energy on that, I actually would probably not do this. No, no, we don't have a knock on the active. What do we see? I think I am gonna go Aegislash. I don't know though. The only problem with this is that Buzz will keep spraying damage, but I don't have a goose. I don't know. I think it's better to just hit him with Aegislash here, honestly. I don't want to lose my Sobaleo so early onto this Gengar. So grab a Cosmo M. Slash Blast for a two-shot. I know Gengar can still knock me out, even with the DCE. That's fine, though. I'd rather lose Aegislash than Sobaleo. Double Gengar, though, that's not good. At least he's low on D-Valleys. I spread more energy. I need to knock out one of those Gengars, but... Ugh, looks like I'm still gonna lose Sobaleo in the process. I'd have to get two energies on my Aegislash here and a Guzma to knock him out. So if I actually draw like a like a Lysander or a Guzma, we can knock out a Gengar here with our Aegislash. Hmm. He's, he's used quite a few of his important resources. Two stadiums, two Ultra Balls, two candies, two Yes Seekers. Like, the prime target to win should always be take out Shaman Zoarks and just take out the GXs and avoid the non-GXs. I wouldn't mind getting a Baby Silk Leo to play. I don't mind doing Colors for 10, though, but... Like, I, I, need, I want to knock out that Gengar. But I guess what we can do is we can knock him out here. Actually, he's probably going to he's gonna hit that Cosmo for 30 because he wants to get everything with 30. Yep. Okay, Max Potion would be nice. We do have our double Sogaleo. We do have Chorus for 10. No. Um. No Guzma. I really want to knock out Gengar. If we can knock out his active, I'm actually perfectly fine with that too. Um. So we do have triple Sogaleo. I was hoping for baby Sogaleo though. Alright, how many men are men are Okay, we'll load up the active, I guess. Or not the active, the bench. We do have Guzma for next turn, so we can knock out another Pokemon he has. I mean, I guess, whatever, it's fine. I did want to get Baby Sogaleo into play. Um, but I guess we can go Triple Sogaleo, there's no harm in that. That's the first, I've never actually had three Sogaleos in play. And I guess we can knock him out Slash Box. How many VS Seekers are left? Okay, we still have three, so the odds of winning are still not terrible. I mean, what we could do is just dodge Gengar by just taking out Zoark and Shaman every turn. That might be the plan. We're probably going to get end here because they have such a big hand. So Guzma may not stay in play. Thing is, like, we knock out Gengar. I don't know what to do. I might. I can't really Zen proof too. I just realized. So I don't know. 
got rid of an end, so he's not any me. Unless he still is. I don't know. These the Gengars, though, are really annoying. The fact they can just one-shot Sokaleo. I need to find Max Potion. If we can get our one Max Potion, I'll be good. But if anything I can take away from this video, I think I do want to play two Max Potions. Even three, like... I mean, obviously, you're, you're not going to play against Gengar Zoark every day, but Max Potion would be really good right about now. Might actually be digging for, like, a Guzma to knock out Sogaleo now, which I think is what he's trying to do. Hmm. Yeah, he's going to take out the Sogaleo now. You can still build up a Sogaleo though, so it's not too bad. As long as we can win on the clock, I'll be fine. And hopefully he has to grab a Via Seeker here so he can't end me. Because so we knock him out, go down two prizes, he owned me again, I don't know. Did he just grab a Ghastly with that? Oh, okay, so it is a Via Seeker. So this actually hurts the odds of him ending me next turn. So, chances of winning are pretty good. And I think I take out Zoark here for the uh, draw support he has. No, he's still ending me! Okay, so we lose Guzma, but we still have the odds of hitting Lele. I don't think I actually have any Ultra Balls left. No, I do. Alright, we still got Guzma. Nice. And creep show. It really does suck Gengar just one-shots these Soleos. I need... Pardon me, I need to find my Max Potion. Okay, that's not bad. At least next turn, I know that I probably have game. Oh, crud, I didn't mean to do that. That's fine. We got three Silk Lails in play, anyways. That's fine. I mean, I'm gonna goose that, I guess. As long as we don't get end next turn, we should hopefully be able to win the game. Okay, Lele's and Ultra. Those are two cards that can help us win next turn with getting that last Lysander out of the deck. So, hopefully we can win. I don't really want to lose to a Gengar deck. Not going to lie. The whole point of Sogaleo is that it's like, doesn't really get knocked out that much. But, it looks like Sogaleo is getting knocked out that much. You know what I mean? It's not supposed to get knocked out that much, but it's getting one-shotted by a Gengar, so this is kind of embarrassing. We'll see if he's got that last Via Seeker or not. I really hope we don't get end, though. Hmm. Please don't end me. Don't end me, and if I do get end, give me what I need, in case... Lay lane... Probably for N, unfortunately. No, Guzma. Oh. That's even worse, because I can't... I should have spread out the energy. Oh, we might actually lose to a Gengar deck. Why do I play this team? Oh, wait, he's gonna honor. Oh, no, he can retreat, right? This is annoying, though, that this Gengar just takes out my Sogaleo. <sighs> okay. If we don't try energy, we just straight up lose. We're probably not going to. We don't have that much left in the deck. Yep. <sighs> Man. This is so annoying. It's 
I don't think I can really go I can bring out Zoark. I bring out I can bring out Zoark. No, I don't know. I may have to bring out Lele and Enim. I think that's what I gotta do. Lele's the only thing here that can take a hit. Well, I could actually bring out Bronzor, which... Yeah, let's bring out Bronzor instead. I don't know why. You never know, you might you might just see a random DC choice band. It's got field drop. Okay, we have the Seeker. So we should have game next turn as long as we don't see that last via Seeker. Hopefully he doesn't play Hex Maniac either, because that would really suck. It's kind of all down to this though. We have game next turn, but does he have game this turn? So it's kind of all down to the wire here. This game was a lot more intense than I thought it would be. I didn't think Gengar would give me this much of a run for my money. But we'll see. Does he have that last versus Seeker to win, or he plays like three Guzmas for some reason? Moment of truth. He's got one trade up his sleeve. No room for Lele or Shaman. Please just do Sinister Fog. He either put that Gengar down because he's slow rolling me, or he put that down because he genuinely doesn't have the game. I only have two cards too, so he's probably thinking I don't have that last Guzma. So he's probably thinking he's not in the worst spot because I don't have that Guzma either. Because I only have two cards, so like the odds are a little lower. That's what I'm hoping for. This is so intense, guys. Yes, and that is game. By the skin of our teeth, we barely managed to beat a Gengar deck, which is kind of funny, and it's lit. But that is indeed game. That was a very, very close game. But you know what, we showed off the Sogaleo Bronzong combo pretty nicely here. And we're just going to take the game with Sunseal Strike. That was a pretty close match, I'm not going to lie. But I think we'll wrap up today's video here. This deck is pretty fun to play. I do think it is a little flawed because Soul Burst isn't as fast or like it's reliable. Whoa, my game's glitched and Sogaleo won't get off my screen. But that will wrap up today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like. We managed to beat... A Gengar deck, and uh, we showed up the deck pretty nicely there. If anything, I would add, I would definitely add more rare candies. Or not rare candies, sorry, Max Potion. I think, honestly, just take out a Field Blower and throw in a second Max Potion. This deck desperately needs another Max Potion, in, all op in my opinion. I think this deck really does need Max Potion. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, and help me the road to 3,000 subs, and I'll see you guys on another PC Show video. Goodbye.